Hi guys, so today I'm coming back with a fashion essentials, the kind of staple items that you need and everyone needs in their wardrobe. Um, so yeah, I thought, I love watching these kind of videos and I love seeing what people um, say are their fashion essentials. So I thought I would do my take on it and kind of show you guys the things that I feel like are absolutely like essential, crucial if you are wanting to build up um, a wardrobe which is classic and um, you want a wardrobe which is really easy to go in and start outfits. So the first thing that I would say is an absolute and I would say is the fashion essential is a classic white tee and I feel like white tees really um, put together a look. I favour white tees over black tees so I feel like they look a bit more clean and polished. Um, and this one that I have is from Marks and Spencers. I got this the summer just gone. Um, this was relatively cheap. I think it must have been about five or seven pounds, so not too expensive. Um, this one's a hundred percent cotton, and um, I like these ones. And I like I also like these stretchy tight materials from Primark because um, they're really good to lay under dresses, under tops. Um, yeah, so I got this this one. So I got this one from M and S. I would say you don't really need to invest too much money into a white T-shirt just because um, after a while they all fade. After washing them, um, they all fade. They go a little bit grey. If you think a classic white tee is a little bit boring, I would urge you to try out um, slogan tees. Um, the kind of I specifically like white slogan, like a white tee with a slogan on it. And my favourite one is this Adidas one. I also like the Levi's ones. I think they're really nice. I need to pick up one of them for my wardrobe. And yeah, so I just love this Adidas one. I just feel like. It kind of gives every outfit a bit of a sporty vibe and it's a little bit more interesting than just a basic white tee. The next top that I would say is absolutely essential um, for a classic wardrobe is a simple white shirt. Um, this one is actually a men's one from Primark and I have had this for like a year or two and honestly it still looks really good. Um, yeah, this one's also 100% cotton. Um, mine is quite oversized just because I feel like, um, I just like the, I like shirts um, to be a little bit more oversized. I feel like it gives an outfit sophistication without looking too much. So yeah, especially when it's oversized. I love this one and I think it probably costs like £10. As well as a white shirt, I would also say that a black shirt is kind of essential. This one's more like of a blousy material. Um, so it's a little bit more, it kind of drapes over the body. And like the white one, um, I just feel like it's very classic, very easy to wear. One that I've got is quite has got quite a deep V which is a little bit more of a gives a bit more of a sexy vibe because you see a little bit more cleavage um, and this one I think I picked up from Topshop but like years and years ago so you would not be able to get that now um, so yeah I love this black um, black blouse I just feel like you can really easily wear it you can do like an all black look or tuck it into a skirt or some jeans or anything so yeah to inject some colour into a classic wardrobe because I know what I'm like I do quite like black white and grey to inject some colour I would say that a denim shirt is quite um, an important piece um, mine is also from Primark and it's also in the men's section um, because it's quite oversized and the women's tend to be a bit more fitted and show curves I love oversized shirts like I've said before so I really enjoy this denim shirt I feel like denim shirts always look really good with red lipstick I don't know why but they always do you can wear this you can wear this with like a pair of blue jeans and kind of do like a double denim kind of look if you're not into that put it on with some black jeans when it comes to knitwear I would say that there are two potentially three knitwear options that you should really look out for 
Um, the first is I love my chunky knits. This one's actually vintage, so I won't be able to um, to link it. Um, but I'm, I will try and find like a similar one. So this one, um, I got this in like a vintage, like a vintage clothing fair that they had going on um, at my uni. Um, this is just like a white chunky knit jumper. <laughs> A white chunky knit jumper and it's just the crew neck which is really classic it has like the classic kind of pattern so as well as a cream jumper I would say that a grey jumper is also a classic this one I also got from the vintage fair so again it won't be able to link but H&M have a lot of grey um, jumpers so I will link um, as many I will also, I think I'm going to be picking up another one from H&M just because this one's really oversized um, I can almost wear this as like a dress if I really wanted to um, so yeah I love this um, jumper um, I just think cream and grey are really easy colours to wear so my third option when it comes to um, knitwear is a turtleneck I feel like you cannot go wrong with a turtleneck and the ones that I love specifically are from M&S. m, &S. m &S, I feel like do such good knitwear and they do such good turtlewear, uh, turtlenecks and um, they do like this black one they do um, they have a grey one which I really want as well so have a look at um, m and when it comes to knitwear and um, this one was really cheap I feel like it was under £20 um, yeah and I just feel like a turtleneck you can wear it with absolutely everything um, you can layer it quite easily on top of jackets because it's not um, as thick yeah you can layer it underneath dresses you can layer it underneath tops um, I think I'm gonna have to do like a lookbook and show you guys how I style these items so I only have one dress option and you know what it's like everybody needs a little black dress and my little black dress is this leather one from Zara and I picked this one up last year in the sale so I would just say any little black dress whatever you like you go for that the reason why I picked this one is because I feel like this one um, is really easy to layer um, like I could layer my turtleneck underneath I could layer my turtleneck underneath this dress and it would just give me a little bit more warmth I could also put a classic white tee underneath this um, and just layer a tee on top of this and I feel like it would just kind of give the dress a little bit more of an edgy vibe I think in terms of bottoms I would say jeans jeans for me are just what I wear the most jeans and leggings but everybody wears leggings so yeah leggings are essential get yourself a pair of leggings first are a pair of black jeans these ones are from Marks and Spencers and I showed these ones in my latest haul. I'll link these in the, in the description box um, and I'll also link my haul if you want to check that one out. Um, yeah, so just a pair of black jeans, no rips on them. These ones are from Marks and Spencers, so they're £22.50 but I also really enjoy the um, Topshop Jamie jeans. And then the next pair of jeans, you guessed it, is a pair of mid blue jeans. Um, these ones again were in my last haul. I either enjoy jeans like this with no rips on them at all, these are like mid rise classic, or oh, I also love mom jeans. Um, they're just so comfortable if you find the right pair. The ones that I have are from Topshop, and um, I feel like they kind of do the best and the biggest variation of mom jeans so these are my mom jeans here they're kind of in a slightly lighter wash than the um zara jeans and these ones have a rip in them if you like rips get yourself a pair of mid to light wash jeans with a rip or without a rip mom jeans i love and i just feel like they're so easy um so yeah i would say you need like a mid blue jean or and a black pair of jeans as well Sometimes actually, um, just like I'm going to throw in a bonus here, sometimes I also like to wear my culottes. So these are just my black culottes from Topshop. I've had these ones for like two, three years. Um, 
these are like classic if you're a student you know all about these um they're so easy to wear they feel like you're wearing pajamas but you've actually kind of made an effort these i feel like you can wear these quite casually and you can style them up on a night out very easily as well i've worn these on a night out and i've worn these to uni i've done this i've worn these to do my food shopping i've worn these to expensive bars I wear these at any opportunity that I can. They have pockets in them, they're super comfortable, they're high waisted, they're just so easy to wear. The last category I'm going to be talking about are jackets. And I'm also going to do shoes as well actually. So jackets, I would say that a camel coat is a must. Camel coats just instantly zhuzh up an outfit <laughs> that's a just stupid like a weird term but anyway um yeah camel coat i just feel like are an absolute essential if you don't like camel or you feel like it washes you out go for black so this one's from h and m and um it kind of is it's quite long it hits me about just below my knees um and it ties at the belt this is such like a classic style you can never go wrong i will have this in my wardrobe for years i know i will um this one is um 42 percent well i'll link it in the, in the description box so you can have a look for yourself i love a camel coat so easy to wear and you could be wearing the most casual basic outfit and just throw this on and instantly you look like you've made so much effort I feel like a khaki jacket is just an absolute essential and obviously it throws in a little bit of colour into your wardrobe so your wardrobe's not too monochrome. Um, so yeah, it throws in a little bit of colour into your wardrobe without your wardrobe being too monochrome and um, the one that I like, it, the one that I've got actually has a little bit of... Um, an edge and um, as you can tell it's got like silver paint at the bottom obviously the one that you get doesn't have to be like that this is like an easy way um that a classic item can be adjusted and kind of can be customized um to you know to add a little bit more personality into your wardrobe i absolutely love this detail on there um but i would recommend that you just go for just a simple white um a simple khaki jacket um everyone does it h&m zara this one that i have is from top shop and top shop always bring out um like customized ones with either writing 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 on them or like embroidery or different style i got this one years ago so they don't do this one anymore and also i would say that a denim jacket is an absolute important like in crucial um item to have in your wardrobe unfortunately i haven't found the perfect wash of denim jacket i'm quite picky when it comes to denim jackets and i don't want to spend too much because i feel like they're not it's one of those things that you don't need to spend too much on but i would say a denim jacket like a mid blue denim jacket is absolutely important as well so lastly when it comes to classic wardrobe i would say that um a leather jacket does it get any more basic than a leather jacket? So the one that I've got is from Zara. I feel like Zara do a really good selection of faux leather jackets. It's one of those things where I'm not quite in the space or in the space to invest in a really expensive one. But if you can, if you can afford it, then definitely I would say it's a really good um, item to splurge on it was around 50 pounds which i think is a really good price for a faux leather one so i do also do real leather jackets and they're reasonably priced i saw one last year for like 100 pounds which i think for a real leather jacket is really good um i love this i have worn this so so much like i have used and abused this one mine's slightly cropped but um the long ones do look good as well Next we're going to be talking about shoes and I have three types of shoes, four, four types of shoes that I feel like you can choose, you don't have to have all of them, four types of shoes that I just have to have are just absolutely essential in my wardrobe. So first pair, heeled black boots. I'm going to put one of them down to show you one. So these are the ones that I have, these I got last year from Topshop but they bring them out every single year. These are just a pair of 
black sock boots with a bit of a point um i absolutely love these for me they're not, they're not the most comfortable because top shop shoes are not comfortable because i have slightly wide feet but i absolutely love them um i just feel like whenever i wear these i feel like su superwoman and i feel like they instantly glam up an outfit another pair from top shop are a good old classic pair of leopard print boots I feel like leopard print boots always look good. You can either get one with a heel, mine has a heel on them, but um, you can just get a flat pair. Leopard print boots look amazing with an all black outfit. I just feel like they look really good with denim, they look good with khaki, like the khaki jacket that I showed you guys. A pair of leopard print boots stop your outfits from looking really bland and boring and monochrome um, I love these ones as well these I got last year from Topshop and unfortunately they don't do them anymore have a look around the high street you are going to find a pair of leopard print boots I personally love leopard print and I feel like boots, shoes, handbags are the easiest way to incorporate that into your wardrobe so in terms of flat boots a pair of military style boots so these ones are from Stradivarius um, I got these last year and I don't think they have them on their website anymore but they might have some in store or they might have brought out a newer version online but everywhere does these kind of boots if you have a look at stores like Bershka, Stradivarius, Pull and Bear or even a classic pair of Docs um, I didn't want to invest in a um, in docks because I just didn't know how much I was going to get wear of these um, but I absolutely love these boots these oh I love the gold detail on them and I'm usually not a gold kind of person and I love the stitching at the bottom as well I just um I love this outfit I love these boots so much um, they're so easy to wear they're not the most comfortable because they're not real leather I feel like if it was real leather it would soften up but I love this and I get that these are not for everybody but I just am obsessed with these boots or like dark kind of grungy boots. So the last pair of shoes I've got to be trainers. Now you can either go for a classic pair of white Converse which mine are downstairs so I can't be bothered to go and get or you can go for a classic pair of Vans old school. So I have two here but these ones for some reason I've lost the lace on them. So I'm just going to show you this one. So these are just my classic old school Vans. Mine is so grubby and I'm actually tempted to get a new pair this year. I have got to say that these are the most these are the most comfortable trainers that I have got. I love Vans. Obviously, you can get them in a different combination of colours. I do greys, I do um, beige, brown, reds, burgundies. But I feel like the classic black ones are just... Oh, they're to die for. I actually want to get the checkered print slip-on ones as well. So if any of you guys have got them, then let me know if they're comfortable or not. I just feel like these and the white Converse, if you have them too, then I think your trainer game is done um yeah i love these shoes i feel like they look good with dresses they look good with skirts they look good with the culottes they look good with jeans they look good with absolutely everything i wear them at every opportunity that's why mine is so trashed so yeah guys that was everything in my wardrobe essentials these are the things that i live off these are the things that i incorporate in almost every outfit that i wear i definitely would say every outfit if you enjoy these kind of videos please do subscribe to my channel it would mean the world to me and yeah i'll catch you guys in my next video bye